Welcome back to another episode of the Weed News, everybody. I'm your host, Mike Cannon. It is fantastic to be back in New York after my two-week stint on the road. I apologize for my appearance and that my face looks like a homeless vagina. Let's get started. Mark Emery, self-proclaimed Prince of Pot, just returned home to Canada after spending four years in a Louisiana federal prison for selling Americans marijuana seeds. It's weird that marijuana seeds are illegal, yet some half-retard from Louisiana can plant his seed inside his double-digit IQ wife. Which one is more harmful to our country? The US DEA claimed that Emery was the head of a $5 million criminal enterprise that had its tentacles all across North America. Weird, that kind of sounds like our government's war on drugs. Except our reach goes all the way to the Middle East and we deal primarily in heroin. Residents in Denver, Colorado are starting to complain about the pungent smell of growing marijuana throughout their city. Odd, because even before I started smoking pot, I loved the smell of marijuana. If there was a pot cologne, I would buy stock in it, wear it, and mace a complainer in the eye every time they spoke up. Oh, you don't like the smell of free thinking? Well here, there goes your fucking retina. Who has the red eyes now? Plus, what's the alternative smell in Denver, Colorado? The 700 Papa John's that Peyton Manning owns? I'd rather smell pot than the precursor to my diarrhea any day. Now it's time for this week's Toker Tech! I have no idea where it's gonna pop up. We got a green screen behind me. It's all so fucking exciting. There have been some complaints that I haven't gotten in depth enough about these products. What do you want me to fucking suck your dick while I'm going over how to press the buttons of each of these vaporizers and or roll a blunt just to show you how to do it? Grow the fuck up. I'm, I'm just wetting your whistle a little bit. Go out and read some other reviews from people who don't have to make jokes about them. If you buy a volcano, congrats. You're officially a marijuana grown up. This is the perfect device for college. I love how I'm now pitching drug paraphernalia to children. This is the perfect device though, because it doesn't give off a smell. Do you understand? So you're pretty much safe. Also, people are going to want to use this device. They're going to come to your apartment and or dorm room. The only thing you need to require is that people bring their own pot. They will smoke you up for being able to use this device. And then where does the pot go? Right in that mason jar for cooking some brownies. The Volcano costs between $400 and $500, depending on how fancy you want to get with the accessories, but it's completely worth the investment, especially if you live in a building with your landlord lord and or mother and or both if your mother's your landlord you probably shouldn't spend money on pot or its devices get the fuck out it's pretty easy to use once you have one of your friends shepherd you through the process i'm a little add so it took me about 65 tries for me to get it right i fucked up quite a bit because the temperatures can get pretty hot and i burned my lips like i just sucked the devil's syphilitic dick again that's more of a commentary on me than anything else like i said it's got a steep price but it's completely worth the investment as a centerpiece for your new apartment and or home it really screams hey i'm an adult look at how much i invested into this product that made me forget how much much I'm paying for this apartment. Here's the downside. Don't let drunk people operate your device. Of course, you're going to want to whip this out at parties and really show off A, that you make enough money and B, how high you're about to get everybody for free. It's one thing to shatter a bowl that you bought at a head shop. It's another thing to destroy a several hundred dollar pot robot. So overall, I would totally recommend this product if you can afford it. Right now, I'm a 29 year old comedian that does a web show for free, so I do not own one. And now it's time for our video of the week where kids film their angry father catching them smoking pot. Sounds like the worst experience of all time. Check it out. Get the fuck out! We're leaving! Right fucking now! I told now. them already! Bunch of fucking losers! Listen, I'm as pro pot as anybody can get, but this gives stoners a bad name. First of all, what are you, a fucking amateur? If you're gonna smoke in your parents' house, use a vaporizer or at the very least a sploof. If you don't know what a sploof is, it's a Gatorade bottle, you burn a hole in the bottom, you pack it with dryer sheets, shoot Febreze in that bitch, and then blow the exhale hit through it and out the window. That's also a perfect thing for you college kids to use if you can't afford the volcano. Apparently I'm speaking directly to children and I've never felt creepier in my entire life. Just licking my lips now, thinking about you just blowing hits of smoke out that bottle. It's very phallic and you know what? I'm chubbing up. Also, if you're gonna post this video on the internet, have a better comeback to your parent than, oh, okay, geez, dad, gosh, oh, they're leaving. Explain the pros of pot and its medicinal use. Don't exhibit the type of brainless, uh, uh, geez, dad, I, I, everybody's leaving that your father already thinks it does to you. All in all, I'd say you're lucky I'm talking about this video on this show so then you don't have to waste the minute 30 seconds watching it. These kids are borderline gorillas and give pot a fucking bad name. 
Guys, again, thank you so much for watching this episode of Weed News. It's been a very exciting, very exhausting two weeks. I'm glad to be back in New York where I can buy 1.7 grams for $97,000. Subscribe under here. Who knows, we got a floating backdrop. It might just come shooting out of my dick. Who knows, that would be pretty cool actually. Very Michael Bay of us. Follow me at I am Mike Cannon on Twitter. Follow Stand Up New York Labs on YouTube. And listen to my podcast, Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. It's not about bestiality, it is about conspiracy theory, expansion of consciousness. I go through it every fucking week, and you know what? If you're not subscribed at this point, you're a soulless cunt, and I don't love you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Weed News, bottom right, I believe. Thumb it up, share it with your friends, pass it to the left, am I right? I'll go fuck myself. But guys, thanks again for watching. See you next week.